Hey everybody, so welcome to my channel. Straight right away, no intro. I don't have an intro yet for this channel. And by this channel, yeah, I mean like I've had other channels and yeah, like if you see my face somewhere else on the internet, it's cause I've had, I have, well, two active channels. Dang, it's hot. Two active channels right now. Well, not really active. Like they're like existing in the internet, but that like I'm actively posting, um, I guess it's just, this one thank you so much for coming to my channel <laughs> so i am uh, obviously doing my skincare oh it's so hot i'm wearing like this robe so that i'm not naked in front of the camera but really it's hot so i almost i'm like this close but no nah, it's not yeah no it's not but yeah so I, what uh first what i'm using is the laneige this is uh kisho sui again it is a lotion skin moisturizer lotion i i've heard kisho sui translated as moisturizer laura can you please introduce yourself and what we are doing okay so yes i'm doing my skincare now obviously but today what i wanted to talk about in this video was specifically ooh, ooh, I'm getting too close to a nipple is why i'm doing this channel and what I, what my intention and goals are with this channel i guess yeah and to talk about a skin checker those are the two things that i want to go over today so number one well after that so what i do okay so this is this is my skin checker it's by this company called belulu b it's the kanji for kanji is chinese characters used in japan so the kanji for b or beauty and then lulu which i don't know where that comes from to be honest with you, they were just like hey we need something aside from b and then they were like how about root not too basic how about ruru let's go with that i feel like that's how that went down because it's not very i don't get the name but yeah so what you do is i put my face like this and i'll press it up against my face and then it tells me like how much water i don't know so talking affects it i hope not but yeah so i get this it's 55 and 17 the 55 is the amount of water that i have on my face and then the 17 is how much oil i have on my face and then there's a little happy face in the corner i don't know if you could see it now but yeah so that little guy is to tell you that danyoku danyoku is the elasticity of your skin so my thing with the skin checker is oh okay so after i put that okay that's why i'm like why was i waiting i was waiting because oh did i do that oh yeah yeah, yeah no i did i did it and I took a picture. Okay. Because what I do, oh my gosh, Lord, you're going 8,000 different places at the same time. Okay. So what happened was that I take, I try to take measurements every day at the same steps, not at the same time, because I do different things at different times. Nip slip, we're good. So what I try to do is that I try to do it when I wake up in the morning. And then if I work out, I do it after I work out because I want to see if like the workout has like increased, especially me. I have very little oil production. Not only do I know this because I have dry skin from like, I use just dry but also because I actually got a Japanese, I went to a Japanese like salon where they do a bunch of beauty treatments and they do like, they did like a skin check on my face and they did like this machine that like took pictures and and they were like, the lady was like, play you dry. And I was like, yeah, she's like, you don't get many pimps, do you? And I'm like, of either kind, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not getting any of that. So going back oh yeah so because of that i looked up and it said that if you exercise i looked up on a japanese website like how can you increase your oil production and it said that if you exercise because what i'd like to do recently is because not only am i dry and i have very little oil but i also have very little water on my skin it's just it's just like okay girl bye is the water on my skin oh i forgot to turn on my humidifier hold on okay i'm back so i like to turn on my humidifier okay let's see if i get back on track i like to turn on my humidifier because like especially hyaluronic acid and different humectants and uh mole molecules whatever things that absorb the moisture like you know if they don't get it from the surrounding air then they'll pick it up from within your skin we can talk about that in further details in another video maybe potentially i don't know allegedly supposedly but so recently yeah i like putting on a mask after i put on the kisho sui just to trap it in for a little bit and then oh while i do this though um, i am oh no the tweezers okay so after while i do this though i am gonna because i like to use this time to you know lather up what's it called my skin get all nice and lather wet not wet with water but quit with lotion so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that so i'm gonna be offline for a second but what was i talking about so i was talking about the skin checker place oh yeah, yeah yeah so you know what i don't remember what i was talking about but skin checkers so i do that yeah oh, okay so when i wake up after i exercise because i was looking up to see if there was ways to increase the amount of oil that i produce and then the thing the japanese article Exercise is the most effective way to increase the amount of oil produced in the skin. It is said that by raising the body temperature by 4 degrees increases oil production by 2 times. It said that you can increase your oil production by 
uh, increasing your body temperature by 4%. And they were like, oh, a good way to do that is to exercise. So I tried to exercise. Aside from, like, you know, uh, health benefits and, like, prolonged life and, yeah, all that stuff that I'm supposed to actually exercise for. Perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, so, you know, I try to exercise so that it'll increase the oil production in my face because, you know, hashtag youth. Forever young. I mean, not really, but you know, you feel me? Like, aging is a privilege, let's accept that. But you know, you, you can also, you know, you can choose how you age nowadays. You don't have to, this ain't the middle ages, you don't have to age like a potato. They didn't even know potatoes were, but they were like, you know what? Because the Irish potato, and you know, I'm sorry. Okay, some people heard about that. Okay, offense, offense. All right, oh yeah, but I got my mask on, so I'm finna get the stuff on my body, so I'll be back. So the reason why I'm doing this YouTube channel, getting back to the point, because the two things that I want to go over this video are the reason why I'm starting this YouTube channel and uh, talk about skin checkers, which I touched a little bit on earlier. Wait, what am I doing now? What am I doing now? Okay, so I'm going to show you on my face and then I'll put the mask on my face. I'll put the mask on. Okay, all right. So today I'm going to use this collagen peptide plumping serum and then this collagen 50% collagen peptide line smoothing cream. I need to get it this close because I can't see without my glasses. Cream, and I'm going to use this first and then I'm going to use this because this is less viscous than this. So, alright, so I'm gonna keep it a book. The reason why I'm doing a YouTube channel is because eventually I would like to make a book. Alright, real talk. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. Like, this is a side hustle that y'all are in on, okay? I'm trying to get in on that AdSense because I'm like looking at my future, real talk. Girl, ain't like, got no savings. That's my fault. My job, you know, it's not bad. Very blessed by the Lord in so many ways. But, you know, I'm also not, you know, pulling like figures that a person my age, I'm only 34 this year, by the way maybe she'll be making and i guess it's like you know that thing of it's like don't compare yourself to others and i'm like yeah but i'm not even like comparing myself to others it's just like you tell your mom that like you know oh yeah i'm gonna have to move next year she's like when you go buy a house and then i'm like <laughs> bye you know and so things things like that and so you know you're like oh well how can i make some extra cash and well one thing that i love or many things that I love, I guess, are skincare items. And so I'm like, if I could make this very expensive hobby into some kind of like thing that would make me money, that'd be cool. So that's a book. I kept it a book with y'all. That was, you know, keeping it real. Y'all is about why I'm starting a YouTube channel. But also, like, generally, I do love skincare, and I've been, I've been on a skincare journey this year. Oh, I forgot to show y'all the texture. Another day, I'll do this another time. But the cream, this cream, dang, I'm screaming. I'm sorry. Is like this purpley color. Can you see? Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty nice, like, lilac color. Hold up, I think there's a rogue eyelash in my eye. I genuinely do. This year, I started, it started with my friend. She showed me, well, my frumi, and I call her my frumi because she's my friend and my roommate. We go back together for a while now. And, yeah, she was showing me, like, this stuff from, like, The Ordinary, and it was, like, hyaluronic acid, and then this, like, I look, this red stuff, and then it was, like, salicylic acid, and the buzz, the BHAs, and I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh looks like a little chemistry cabinet like that's so cool and she was like yeah like this stuff is supposed to be really good for your skin and blah 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 and i was like oh, okay all right you know i like ck and I'm, I'm into that so i started looking into that and i was like and i learned a lot along the way and i was like man this is actually really cool and i really like it and then i learned about sunscreen don't even get me started on my sunscreen at the collection yeah so then i you know i started learning about the different things then i was like dang yeah like i really like sharing stuff so it would be cool to hey everybody I don't know if this mic is working, but anyway, so this is editing Laura. I'm editing the video and it's over like 20 minutes long and realistically the end of it doesn't even matter. Rest in peace, Chester Bennington. But I was not the Illuminati fan. But yeah, so I thought, I was like, let me just cut my losses. This, the video, I think I've given enough information and I think I'm good. So I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day as always. And I hope you... Yeah, just have a great day. God bless and be your best. Hey, see you.